Many Cowboys fans are excited about the acquisition of undrafted free agent Mitch Hyatt. And they should be. Hyatt was a four-year starter at offensive tackle for Clemson, playing in seven playoff games and winning two national championships. So how does a player like that go undrafted? Some scouts have complained about his size. At 6'5", he has only average height for an NFL offensive tackle. But he makes up for that with 34 and an eighth inch arms. That places him near the 75th percentile for the position. Weighing in at 303 pounds, he is very light for the position, coming in underneath the 25th percentile. This has created a narrative around him that he is weak, but his film tells a very different story. This clip is from the national championship game. Hyde is lined up at left tackle against Alabama linebacker Dylan Moses. Hyatt starts off with a kick step, protecting his outside, but Moses stunts into the B-gap. When this happens, Hyatt adjusts. He post steps down, taking away the B-gap. Hyatt's playing with poor leverage, coming in a bit high, and this causes him to get pushed back initially but he is able to anchor himself and protect Lawrence long enough for the quarterback to complete the touchdown pass. This play shows that Hyatt has good agility, can think on his feet, and has the strength to stop a talented pass rusher. In this clip against Boston College, Hyatt is matched up against Zach Allen. Hyatt's feet look great. He is an excellent kick step, taking away the edge rush from Allen. But perhaps more impressively, he doesn't overstep, which would create an inside pass rush lane for Zach Allen. Allen strikes, jolting Hyatt back. This is because, once again, Hyatt is playing with poor leverage. He needs to bend his knees in order to maintain his strength. He is, however, able to collect himself and protect his quarterback long enough for the first down pass to be completed down the field. Later in the game, Clemson ran a zone read on first and goal. Hyatt's job is to block the defender lined up head up on him, leaving the edge rusher for the quarterback to read. Hyatt comes out low, playing with great leverage and driving his legs and the defender across the field. When the edge defender bends in order to chase the running back, the quarterback keeps the ball and all of a sudden, Hyatt's block has become the most important. This frees up quarterback Trevor Lawrence to run the ball in for another Clemson touchdown. This is a counter play to Hyatt's side. On a counter, the play side linebacker and edge player are left for the pullers. This means Hyatt and left guard John Simpson are responsible for double teaming the play side defensive tackle up to the backside linebacker. Simpson is the first to engage on the defensive tackle, but Hyatt comes in low and is able to push the tackle into the A-gap. This puts Simpson in great position to take over the block. Hyatt then releases up to the linebacker with precision timing and makes a great second level block. This is an excellent play by Hyatt that showcases his strength and his understanding of double team blocks. The film shows that Hyatt is not weak. He just needs to bend his knees a little bit more in pass protection. He has the intelligence and athletic ability to be an excellent swing tackle, and with a little bit of development, could be a starter at the position in years to come.